When you play the Game of Thrones, you subscribe and like. Or you die. There is no middle ground. So today's video, we're going to be breaking down George R. R. Martin's Not a Blog. And I think the main gist of it is, as I talked about in last week's video with House of the Stag, Duncan Egg was announced. But what really worries me, and as we look over this, this Not a Blog, is the way George kind of talks about, hey, we need to, I need to do this, I need to do that. And it really makes me feel like George just, does he understand how much time like he has it's going to take to finish the main story as a whole let alone doing other things like fire and blood part two and finishing the novellas it makes me think that george doesn't kind of understand how long all these things are going to take and i would love to know inside of george's mind like does he really think he's going to be able to do all these projects because like he talks about in here when they get done with the first, you know, couple seasons or whatever of the Hedge Knight, of A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, they're going to run out of material for the novellas. And George is wanting to get those done, but then he also talks about, oh, I need to finish Winds of Winter, and then either do A Dream of Spring or Volume 2 of Fire and Blood, and then I also need to slip in a new Dunkin' Egg between each of these in my spare time, and then that's not even into account him, you know looking at the episodes for House of the Dragon, looking at the stuff for Night of the Seven Kingdoms, being involved in probably any more uh, Sunrise and Fire shows like Aegon's Conquest. It makes me really look at George and go, do you understand how long all of these things are going to take? I mean, Winds of Winter has been in production for 11 years plus. And the idea that we get and then do either A Dream of Spring or Volume 2 it is not a good look to me because that tells me his focus is not immediately on finishing the main story. And I, I think a lot of criticism George R. R. Martin has gotten in the past, and even now, is, is George R. R. Martin's focus on finishing the story that he begun, or is it about crafting this, I guess, Game of Thrones cinematic universe similar to Disney or similar to Marvel? And... Has he become more interested in the history of the work he's already created than actually expanding his world, you know, finishing the story? And I think that's a fair criticism. Something me and House of the Stag talked about is where where are George's priorities? And any hate that, say, A Night of the Seven Kingdoms gets as a show, when you're looking at it, well, this is taking away time that George could be finishing wins or the main story of Dream of Spring, whatever, is a fair argument. And... I think it just you look at it and it is a little disheartening when you when you see things like this and it doesn't look like, oh, George is like, hey, I need to finish wins. That's it. And when he continuously adds projects, it makes it less and less likely that Winds of Winter gets done quickly. And the way you even look at the way this is phrased, I just need to finish the Winds of Winter. It gives off that vibe that like this is a chore or it's a hassle that he has to get this done. And maybe that's the negative part of me talking, but I don't know. It's it's not great news for me, um, but let me know what you guys think. I know this is a very short video, but let me know what you guys think about the information that he had on this not a blog. I'm a little bit late to this post, but what do you guys think? And how does this kind of shape your feelings of getting a dream of spring? I'm someone that. You know, I really would love love it if we did, but I think it's, as time goes by, less and less likely. As of right now, I'd say there's maybe less than a 25% chance we get a Dream of Spring. I still hold out for Winds of Winter. I, I think we're it's, I think it's much more likely we get Winds of Winter, but we don't get the conclusion of the story. But let me know what you guys think. I know it was a very quick video. Sorry if you guys wanted a longer video, especially on my weekend upload. It's usually my longer video um, upload slot. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.